Well, here's another mirror that Shanae's has just made. Oh, look, screw that telly one. It's day 13 and the tourists are uh, Yeah, that's another nice one. What one's going in our bathroom? Personally, I think we should sell it. But, uh, no. That's that one. Very nice. Well done, Shaneza. You are so so stylish and cool. Yeah, don't listen to him. I'm evil and, uh, evil. Evil and evil. Yeah. <laughs> but you make mean mirrors. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's an evil mirror. It's an evil mirror. <laughs> when you look at it, it makes you look worse than you actually do. <laughs> <laughs> Give you <spots> <laughs> Can't do much to me then. <laughs> That's it. End of. Nice though. Shenanigans. Oh, yeah. Those are Shanae's mirrors now, after she's finished them. They look very pretty. Very nice. All done. Oh, <coughs> uh, we don't love each other, do we? We don't love ourselves either, do we? Uh. <laughs> yeah. Any minute now, you're going to see the <laughs> to move outside FMCG, fast moving consumer goods, into more ambitious projects, like changing attitudes and behaviour towards struggling nationalised industries. End of day with the new Campbell. It's much cheaper than you think because of the train. The ad man behind the plan to fix you for British Rail was a showman, an ex-actor, and a showman called Peter Marsh. Marsh aimed for a high profile. He wanted to be the industry's first celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> well, advertising is essentially a personality business. I used to describe myself as an actor-manager in the theatre of commerce. 